one. Or... All right. Thanks for stopping by. Aim for the toes. Dot equals one. So it's going to be equal to null initially, but why don't we do this? How about let's make it zero is greater than zero. It doesn't matter if it's one or five or whatever. And then basically we want to bring everything back to the natural state. Right? And why don't I create a a, a, a function for that because um, reset spawner or reset dungeon and basically it's going to do the same things as what's in the on create function and in fact I think I'm just gonna low little little baby boy knocking on the door dad dad let's see if he wants to come in Hey Tao. Sorry. Hey Tao. I'm gonna let him in, I'll be right back. You want in? Hi Zach. Uh, you wanna come sit on my lap? Come on. Alright, come here, buddy. Alright. Say hi. <laughs> Alright. He's much more interesting to look at. Okay, so where's Daddy? You see Daddy? There he is. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there I am. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna run this in the onCreate function, and we're gonna run it in here. Oh, oh! He's trying to push the Outlook button and turn my monitor off. Zach, Zach, what are you doing, buddy? No, no, no. We don't need to do that. Oh, great. Hold on. I might have to pause for a little bit. Let's see. If you'll listen to me. Okay, so here we are. I reset the dungeon if we set that to greater than one. And, and we should also uh, unsubscribe. What am I doing here? No, no, no. That was goofy. That's not where I want to put that. I want to put it in the on five seconds here. And reset dungeon should also unsubscribe myself. Unsubscribe timer. From the five seconds timer. All right. And I guess the victory dance actually should maybe re. Reset to the dungeon too, right? And return. I don't want to add the boss wave. He keeps turning off this monitor. Good thing I have two monitors and I'm broadcasting only this one on the side. Okay. So I think we're ready to go. I have this reset dungeon function. And. Okay, so. Now, I think we're in business, but I need this monitor to see well, where we are. Wait, Zach, you wait. Can you wait? Well, can you wait? <laughs> you know he needs to push the button. He has to push that button. Uh-oh. Mm, no! That's right. That's what I want to say to you. No! Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Much more fun to look at. Who's that? Who's that? Is that you? Uh huh. All right. So let's see what we can do. No, don't. <laughs> I might have to come back. I'm gonna. No. You want to see yourself? I think I can fix this. Who's that? Who is that? Yeah, don't touch it. Oh, don't touch it. Okay. Daddy says not to do it, therefore it's the most fun thing you can do. Area Q. 
kill our base creature. <laughs> Can you say monkey? Yeah, sign language. <laughs> no monkey boy. Oh no! Hey, you cut that out. Okay, so now I'm going to add. Oops, I don't want to do that there. Add a plate. So let's reset. Uber reset. And add script. Dungeon. What was it called? Dungeon score tracker. I always forget. <coughs> what? Oh boy. Okay. And we got freezing happening because we got a break point. Uh, come on, I can't see. Wait, can you be still? Can you be still? Yeah. How do you be still? Can you be still, Zachy? That's not being still. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't a valid uh, time string. And so I'm going to hit break. What is the time string? Five seconds. Five seconds, okay. So normally it actually wouldn't even, see it's it's gonna throw out this, or uh, throw up all this information, barf all this information all over. Error, on line eight, unsubscribe timer five seconds. You, there is a, exception has been thrown, subscribe timer function had invalid string, expected every one of these. So Uberscript's pretty well implemented in terms of giving you information about what's wrong. Hold on, wait, wait. You goofy? You goofy one? No! Whoa! Don't do it! So I need to say five seconds here. Alright, there we go. Now it's fixed. Okay, go down. You go down, find Mama. Where's Mama? Over there? Okay. All right, so now we can do an Uber reset again. So now, so you can see, um, it actually may have initialized some stuff, but when it when it gives an error, it stops, it stops uh, executing. So I think initialize fine because reset dungeon is called from on create as the last thing. So I'm sure it actually initialized okay, but if there was still the pieces that needed to be initialized, um, it would have stopped the execution of the script as, as soon as it had that error. It doesn't continue and try to do the rest. So that's something to be aware of. But anyway, so we now have something we can hook up this spawner to. I'm going to change you over to this new one. I'm going to respawn this. And I'm going to kill this. And something goofy. Oh, because my boss threshold is 1,000, I need to change that to something lower. My current score is 4. Now we're talking. All right, so spawning first wave. All right, so this is the first wave. Boss wave is one. Currently, there's four monsters. Get tameable. It's not tameable. In fact, I can set all skills 100. Target myself. Now I have 100 taming. I'm kind of curious what happens if I try to tame it. I think it might still let me because I'm a game master, but. There's only one way to find out. Too far away. Cannot be tamed. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Headset, don't I? 
I got a headset on. Are you a jumping boy? <laughs> Alright, so we got everything in place. Let's all right, uh, delete and make sure that it properly takes this down. Three mobs left. And if we kill it, then it should also take it down. Two mobs left. One mob left. And in five seconds, tick. And apparently it did not get to where we want to go. And that's because there was an error. Reset spawner. I forgot to set that to, as we initialized it. So, right here. I'm sure the baby boy had something to do with that. Reset spawner equals zero. So every time it ticks, it's going to run into that issue. And so what we can do actually is I can add att is add attachment XML value. That's the same as XML integers, XML ints, and it's called reset spawner, I believe. And I'm going to give it a value of zero. So now. See, it, it actually ticked um, and went forward because it now has this thing where it's not going to have that error anymore because it has that built in. Or now it, now it has that variable attached to it. That's kind of the cool thing is I'm, I'm adding variables on the fly. A lot of overhead, like I said, but it's uh, to ha be able to do that is pretty awesome. As long as you're not relying on it for everything, then you're not going to run into uh, run into problems with the memory and stuff. There, give it to daddy. No, 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 that's not a toy, okay? <laughs> I think I'll have to go for a little while. Uh, but, just real quick, so now I can reset the spawner by changing this to one. Um, next time it ticks, it should reset everything. Did it tick yet? No. Oh, it's not ticking anymore, and everything's zero. Um, the unfortunate thing, and it looks like the thing I need to fix, is when it's ticking, reset dungeon. Oh, I needed to do an uber reset. I haven't done that. That's why I didn't reset the reset spawner. Now it should be doing that. But the other thing that's going to be a problem I just realized is these mobs that are still around if I kill them hey hey what you doing <laughs> he just started jumping like three weeks ago and he, he's all about that now he's got like a two inch vertical yeah jump there you go <laughs> alright so uh, anyway so the problem there it is. I got all these windows got to close. Now, if I kill one of these, guess what? It's negative two and negative three, you know, and that's not good, obviously. So, I'm, what I need to do is is make it so um, we keep track of all the spawn monsters from the perspective of this dungeon tracker, and then uh, and then take care of that. I'm gonna be back in a little bit. Okay. I guess for the sake of uh, the broadcast, I think I can pause it or something. For the sake of, uh, I don't know, can I? <gasps> Maybe tools. What? No, 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 no. Watch this. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. How do I? I'd rather not. You know, because I'm probably gonna upload this to YouTube for posterity purposes. And dun, dun, dun. You know what you do when you don't know what to do? 